Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to take a minute and talk about my new project called the Fun Box. It's a stereo guitar pedal. It's based around the Daisy Seed. Uh, and in this case, I designed the PCB. And um, I really tried to get uh, everything I could out of what the Daisy Seed has to offer. So it has stereo input and output. It has six knobs, three three-way switches, two LEDs, two foot switches. It has four dip switches. Uh, it has expression input and MIDI input. So this has been a lot of fun to program for, and I've released a few videos showing some examples of, of what you can do with it. So who is this for, and how do you get one? Well, I don't want to start a pedal business. I, I don't want to mass produce these. Um, and, and go through all that. But I do enjoy making these things. I enjoy uh, writing code to come up with, with new effects. So everything about this is open source. You can buy all the parts, you can uh, download the code, you can get the design file for the PCB and have them manufactured for you. So now I'm going to walk you through some of the project files, some of the code, and uh, the PCB design document so you have a better idea of, um, of how to build one of these. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. They reached out to me and offered to sponsor a project and I said, I've got the perfect one. And uh, they've been great to work with. Everything went quick, the website's easy, and uh, I think I'll be using them some more. So now I'm going to go through the Funbox project on GitHub and show you what all is included. This is the main uh, GitHub site. Uh, I have some pictures, some descriptions, uh, some info on the cost of building one of these. Um, I have a build guide which I put on Medium. It's just this link right here. And if you do want to build one, I would recommend reading through this. Uh, I put a lot of information about where I get my parts from, um, how to order the, the circuit board from Osh Park or PCB Way, one of these manufacturers. Uh, I have some information on soldering the components, some of my process. And then I also explain how to set up the software environment on your computer and how to load uh, some of my programs to run on the Funbox. So I'm going to go through each of these folders and briefly explain what it is. Uh, these links in blue are submodules. It uses the DAISY environment, which is a DAISY SP and LibDAISY. LibDAISY has all of the lower level um, audio instructions for the Daisy Seed, and Daisy SP has a lot of really cool effects that you can run on this. And then RT Neural is uh, some code that runs the neural network software for the Mars uh, module that I wrote for this. But uh, the first folder up here is graphics, and what I have in here is a Adobe Illustrator template that you can use to have um, to have uh, UV print on your uh, Funbox enclosure. And uh, Tida Electronics is the company that I use to do that. And I can show you what that looks like if I go to graphics and go to this .ai file that stands for Adobe Illustrator. So since Funbox is intended to be reconfigurable, I don't have a single uh, a pedal on this, so it's just like knob 1, knob 2, knob 3. But if you do want to design your own pedal and have just one specific thing, you can use this template uh, to then send to Tida and they will uh, they can UV print this as, as one of their services. So the next folder is hardware and that's where I'm storing all of the KiCad files for the PCB design. <clears throat> so I have three versions in here. I started off 
with this version 1 which doesn't include MIDI or expression it's only a stereo interface to the daisy seed with all of the same controls except this one ha only had two dip switches um, and then Funbox version 2 has MIDI in and MIDI out which I never got one of those manufactured so it hasn't been tested instead I went ahead and designed version 3 which has expression in and MIDI in as well as stereo and all of the other features and it adds four dip switches instead of the two so if you drill down into one of these folders which I'll do here I'll open up the version 3 KiCad file and show you what that looks like KiCad is a free program by the way uh, it's it's used for designing printed circuit boards and circuits. I also have a bill of materials folder that was generated by the KiCad file. I'll open that up first. And it's just a list of the components that were used in the, the design uh, and their values. So that will help you when you when you order parts. But if I open up this KiCad Pro, this is the overall folder you can go to, the schematic, the PCB editor, the Gerber viewer. So we'll look at the schematic first. So this is, uh, this defines all of the electrical connections in the PCB. This big block right here is the daisy seed. It shows where all the pins go to. And uh, on this this one I have some of the main controls. I have the potentiometers, which are these things. I have the MIDI in and expression in jacks. I have switches up here. This is the dip switch right there, foot switches. <clears throat> and then I have um, the other components broken off into these other pages. So this is the MIDI and the expression circuit. <clears throat> So this page shows the audio input buffers and output buffers. There's one for each, the left channel and the right channel for both input and output. And I want to mention that I changed the quad op amp that I'm using in this recently. I originally designed it with a TLO 74, but I changed it to an MCP 6024 because I found that I had less noise with that chip. And then this is the power supply, which you power the pedal with the standard 9 volts and then it converts it to 5 volts uh, for the daisy seed. So that's the schematic. So then we can go to the PCB editor and see what the actual board looks like. So this is a two-layer PCB, and uh, this is how all of the components are laid out. You have the daisy seed right here, and then underneath that, the, I have a bunch of uh, capacitors, mostly related to the, the input and output buffers. You have the potentiometers, uh, switches, and everything uh, laid out. For expression and MIDI, I'm using 1 8 inch jacks. So you're going to need, uh, probably going to need some kind of a 1 4th to 1 8 inch uh, converter. What I like to use is uh, one of these little wires. Uh, it has the, the female 1 4th inch to male uh, 1 8 inch, and that will plug into those jacks on the side, either the uh, the MIDI or the expression. So this is what you use to send to a manufacturer like Oshpark, which is US based or PCB way or JLC PCB, which are in China. Um, and there are pros and cons to each and I kind of lay that out in uh, in my build document in my build guide. So that's the hardware.
So the next folder is this include folder, which has uh, some software that I've I've written that I want to be av make available to all of uh, the software modules that I've written. So I have an expression handler handles the expression, pretty self-explanatory, and then this funbox header file, which uh, kind of abstracts out the controls for the Daisy Seed. It makes it a little bit easier to uh, program for and, and understand uh, what's going on. And then the next one is this mod folder, which uh, is short for modify. So in order to compile uh, for the fun box, you have to go into libdaisy and replace this daisy pedal C++ file and the header file with what's in libdaisy and compile it. And the reason for that is I made some changes to the daisy pedal code in order to work for how I designed the fun box. It was just a, an easier way to do that than writing it from scratch. And the next folder is the software. That's that's the fun one. That's where all the action is that is making our cool effects happen. So right now I have this group of effects I'm calling the planet series, and I'm naming each one after a planet. Pluto's in there. Some people say it's a planet. Some people disagree. But uh, to me, Pluto will always be a planet. So I have uh, Jupiter, Mars, Neptune, and Pluto in there. Um, if you're familiar with my uh, neural network based um, guitar stuff, that's going to be Mars. It uses that to emulate a couple different amps, and it also has an impulse response. So you have the amp and the cab going on in there. And then I added on a delay effect in that. And if you click on each of these um, effects, I have this handy infographic to explain the controls and, and what they do. Um, I'm also using some reverbs that are based on the Cloud Seed reverb, which is an open source plugin that sounds really amazing. Uh, I use that in the Neptune and the Jupiter uh, modules. So in Neptune, I also use a delay, and you can kind of switch around how the delay and the reverb interact, and you can make some really neat uh, ethereal sounds with this one. And then Pluto is interesting. It's it's kind of new. It's I'm kind of working through how I want it to, to operate. So it's not 100% done yet, but it's been a lot of fun to play around with. And what I'm doing here is I have two independent loopers that uh, have variable speed control. So you can slow it down, you can reverse it, and and add on a couple of different effects for that. And then I have this experiments folder, which I'm putting anything that uh, I think is interesting, but maybe isn't a fully realized kind of pedal. So I have this uh, chorus verb, which is a chorus and a reverb. And I, I tried a couple things in there with the pitch shift class. And it didn't work out exactly like I wanted, but it, it's kind of neat. And then I have this Denoise FFT, which is based on this example um, that that somebody else made, and uh, and you can do a lot of neat things with uh, FFTs. So uh, I'm going to be using that to to kind of build some new effects. And then I have this MIDI keys. Um, which I have a video out for that, but it's using the uh, Funbox as really a keyboard synthesizer. You can plug in a MIDI keyboard and, and make some neat sounds with it. And then if you're interested in, in making your own effects for the Funbox, I would start with this template. And what it is, is it's not, a, it's not an effect. It won't, uh, probably won't compile but you use this to uh, to build your effect. And I kind of have it laid out how I like to do things. Um, so it's kind of a blank slate for for adding functions for the switches, for the knobs, and, and everything else. 
So that is the fun box in a nutshell. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.